Like six million Americans suffering with heart failure, Michael and Diane Gross have been locked in a life and death battle to save Michael's failing heart. It got bad. He could barely walk. You know, he'd walk from like the table to the living room and he could barely make it. Over the years, Michael's heart continued to deteriorate. The back wall of his heart, the front wall of his heart, and you can see how poorly the walls are coming in. And then extensive testing for a heart transplant revealed he was not a candidate for a donor heart. I was getting ready to die. He was dying and there was nothing else we could do. That was it. Then she said, well, let's have one more meeting with the cardiologist at UCLA. And she said, well, there is something. That something is the HeartMate 2, a new system to assist the left ventricle pumping chamber of the heart, capable of restoring the full output of a healthy heart. The new technology is small, light, and portable, and through the rotation of a single moving part, the blood flow is continuous. There can be no heartbeat at all. It's a continuous uh, flow device, but the device is small, it's entirely in his chest. All that comes out is a little wire about the size of the end of your, your pinky, and it goes to a controller that he wears like a fanny pack and a couple of batteries. These two go to the batteries. Michael is the first patient at UCLA to receive the device, not as a bridge to transplant, but as a so-called destination device that will keep him alive for the rest of his life. This really represents a major therapeutic advance. UCLA is one of the largest and most experienced ventricular assist device programs, and we're now able to offer this remarkable therapy. This provides options for patients that had no options before, the same way heart transplant did back in the 80s. It's great now, and in fact, he's planning on going back to work too. So, and they said it was okay, so he can drive now, so it's, it's nice. <laughs> I'm fine. I can walk, I can shop, I can drive. I can do anything I want. UCLA is pioneering other advances for patients who are on the transplant list. New so-called BiVAD devices that support both pumping chambers or ventricles of the heart are also shrinking. This older unit is the size of a washing machine. But some patients are going home to wait with devices the size of car batteries. I haven't been home in three months, so I'm really looking forward to having an opportunity to be home and be with friends and family and it'll be a waiting period until the next step which is a new heart. These new devices are part of the solution for patients with heart failure, a number that is on the rise. There is new focus on prevention of heart disease that leads to heart failure through healthier lifestyles and the management of risk factors like high blood pressure and diabetes and there is promising new research. There's work going on with stem cells as a way of treating heart failure and heart muscle diseases. And importantly, work going on of how the body can help heal itself, how to regenerate using your own tissue, your own heart muscle cells. So there's phenomenal, exciting research going on. And the important thing for patients coming to an institution like UCLA recognizing they're going to receive the highest quality state-of-the-art care as well as potentially be candidates for studies if they so uh, decide to participate that's testing the next generation of therapies.